hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created the page to show all the products to our admin and we created the api in our backend application to search the products by the name and in today's video we will call this api search products by name from our frontend application and after that we will create the delete api for the products so let's get started first of all we need to create the endpoint call in our admin service so we can go to the admin service and here we can copy this get all products api call and we can paste this here and let's rename the method name from get all products to get all products by name and in the params we should get the name of the product and after this let's uh, replace these two back ticks so we can pass our variables inside this string and the endpoint for this api is api slash admin slash search and after search we can inject our variable by writing dollar and then bracket and that's it for our api call in the admin service now let's go to the admin dashboard and call this method to call the search products by the name we need to create a form group so we can get the search term from the input and i am naming this form as search product form and let's import this form group and after this we need to inject the form builder in our constructor so let's do that and import this after this let's initialize this form in the ng on init method and to do that we can write here this dot search product form is equals to and here we need to use our form builder dot group method and here we can mention our controls for now we only have one control and we can name this control as title and for the by default value i am setting this as null and then we need a validator which is validators dot required after this let's create a submit form method which we will call on the submission of this search product form and in this method we can copy the functionality of our get all products method and in this method first of all let's create a constant variable with the name of title and then let's set the value by calling our search product form dot get method and in this get method we need to mention the control name which is title and after this we need to update this method call which is get all products by name and in the params we can pass our title that's it for our dashboard.component.ts let's save this file and go to the dashboard.component.html here in this file we can start writing our form tag and for the name of the form group i gave as search product form which we just created in our ts file and then on submit i am calling our submit form method in this form let's create one mat form field and let's add one mat label as well and in the mat label i wrote enter keyword to search after this mat label we need to add the input tag and in the form control name i gave it as title after this let's add one button tag as well and i disabled this button if our search product form is invalid now let's save this file 
and as you can see our project got compiled successfully without any errors before going to the browser to view the output we need to move this form tag from inside of this product list div so let's do that and save the file and let's format this file as well now let's go to the browser and see the output and as you can see we got one search box here and we can see the four products which we are returning in the get all products api now let's copy this keyword and paste here in the input box and let's click on this search box and as you can see now we are getting three products and all of these three products contains this keyword in their title now let's go to our backend application and let's create this delete api as you can see i am in the admin product service implementation and here we can start writing the method to delete the product and this method will be a public one and this will return boolean and let's name this method as delete product and in the params we should accept one id of type long and here we need to create a variable of type optional of product and let's assign it a name of optional product and let's initialize this by calling product repository dot find by id and here we can pass our id from the params after this we need to write one if condition and in this if condition we will check if we got something in our optional product then we will call the product repository dot delete by id method and here we will pass our id and we will return true from this if block otherwise we will return false because we don't have any product with this id now let's copy this and let's mention in the admin product service now let's go to the admin product controller and let's write the code for the endpoint the endpoint method will be a public one and this will return a response entity of type void and let's name this method as delete product and let's add the annotation of delete mapping for this method and the endpoint url should be slash product slash product id and let's mention the path variable annotation and we need one product id of type long and let's name this as product id in the body of this method let's create a boolean variable here and let's name this as deleted and now let's call our admin service dot delete product and let's pass the product id after this we need to check our deleted variable and if it is true then we will return response entity dot no content dot build and in the else case we will return response entity dot not found dot build that's it for the delete api from our backend application now let's rerun our application as you can see our backend application is up without any errors now let's go to our front end application and call this api in the front end application let's go to the admin service and here we can copy this add product api and we need to rename this to delete product and here we will get the product id 
and we need to change the API type from post to delete and after this we can remove this and we need to replace these with the back ticks and here we can pass our id which is product id let's save this file after this let's go to the dashboard dot component dot ts and here we need to write method and we need to name this as delete product and in the params we need to mention the product id and in this method we can straight away call our admin service api which is delete product and we can pass the product id in the params and after this we need to subscribe the response and here we need to write if condition and we need to check if response dot body is equal is equals to null then we will show the snack bar and we will show the message as product deleted successfully in the else case we will show again the snack bar and uh, this time we will pass the message by getting the message from the response now let's inject this mat snack bar in our constructor and let's import this as well and after uh, this success message we need to call again our get all products method so we can refresh the page view after this let's save the file and let's go to dashboard.component.html and here as you can see we already have a button which we created in the previous video and on the click event of this button we need to call the method which is delete product and in the params we need to pass the product id which we can get by mentioning product dot id let's save this file as well and let's go to the browser and test this functionality as you can see i am on the admin dashboard and here let's try clicking this delete button to delete this product and as you can see we got the message that product deleted successfully and our page got refreshed with the new response that's it for this video in the next video we will start creating the cart entity in our backend application